Welcome back to Grown Kids TV with myself, Mike. Today we have the latest NFT drop. This is the Flintstones NFT drop. There's some really cool things in here, and we're going to talk about how that ties into my most recent Big Grail pickup. You can probably see in the background. Stay tuned. All right, I'm currently working overnight, so I had to wake up in my version of like 3 to 4 a.m. and get on here and buy these because I really, really wanted one of the redeemables. And then there's two that are really cute, and the rest are okay. They're pretty good. But let's just talk about the breakdown. And by the way, there are chapters below. For people that don't want to waste any time going over stuff they already know, I understand. I get it. But for those that are new or maybe just like to hear this stuff, let's go through it. There are two types of packs, standard packs and premium packs. Standard packs come with five pops, five digital pops, and it's $10 for the pack. Premium packs is three times, three times. So 15 digital pops, or K AKA 15 cards, and it's $30. There were 16,250 standard and 16,250 premium packs in this, so a pretty big drop. And got Fred Flintstone here. So now we're gonna scroll down. Uh, and the, the standard packs are going to look like this with Dino on the front of his tongue out, super adorable. And Fred Flintstone's going to be on the premium pack cover. And we're going to scroll down really far and take a look at the actual redemptions. Here we have Fred Flintstone. This is the grail. There's only 999 of these. And this is Fred Flintstone, like, doing some grilling. So we got him here. At least that's what I assume he's doing here. So that's the grill. That's the hardest to get. It's a 0.31% chance of the redeemables where you get a physical redemption. 0.31% chance. That's not too bad, right? Then we got our legendaries. There are three legendaries. The first one up is Barney, of course. Barney Rebel in his fireman outfit. Pretty adorable. There's 1,800 of those, which is a 1.66% chance. Next up, we have the first really cool one, in my opinion. This is Dino with his tongue out. Very cute. Uh, the most recent Dinos I think they had were the, the four different colorways. I think there were four. And then there's one where he's in the car as well. 1,800 available, a 1.66% chance. Next up, probably my favorite legendary because it is Wilma holding pebbles. I can't believe how adorable this is. Uh, and we have the Wilma and Betty. And we have Bam Bam and we have Pebbles, which I used to call Bam Bam Pebbles, probably the cutest Funko Pops ever made. And there's been some that have kind of fought that, like Sleeping Stitch is one of them, but still some of the cutest Funko Pops ever made. And this is right on par, little Pebbles, so adorable. And last but not least, the one that ties into the grill in the background, the royalty. And this one is if you get all the commons, uncommons, rares, and epics. You put them all together in the same wallet and they'll send you a coin on Redemption Day that will let you get this Freddy Funko, 2,000 available, not all of them will be redeemed, as Fred Flintstone. And that's his bowling gear. So let's take a look at why this is important and why I really wanted to get this. Because right before this drop was announced, I bought this. This is my super long sought after Fred Flintstone, Freddy Funko 333 piece. Now, I love it because it's 333, 333 piece. That's my favorite number is three. And it's so adorable. This, uh, right around the same time, we got Charlie Brown. I wanted to get this. And I think it was like $250 or $300. And I was like, that's way too much. And as soon as I didn't buy it, and I was like, I'll get it. Then the price skyrocketed. Uh, so I just picked it up. It's got this for a great deal. Uh, and the way I did it was I bought off a seller with like zero feedback. So it was a big risk. But I knew that eBay would side with me if something went wrong. And I would just film everything, make sure it was good. But the seller sent it, it was awesome. Fred Flintstone, Freddy Funko. 333 piece. And along with that, that would look great. That's 2000 piece Freddy Funko royalty collection. And I was recently just talking to Luau about this drop and just mystery box in general. And one reason I don't get a lot of mystery boxes anymore is because I'm looking for specific Funko Pops that I really want in my collection. And if a mystery box has like one, I might take a chance depending on what it is. But if it has a few that I might want to get, then yeah. But if most of the box is stuff I already have or whatever, then I don't really want to spend the money on that. Then I have to turn around and sell it and you know lose a little bit of money. And it is a little bit of work for a chance at something good. Sometimes it's worth it. But that's why I've really been cutting down mystery boxes. But it also is why I love these NFTs because these are all fresh new Funko Pops. 
Freddie Funko has Fred Flintstone. But the idea is I love that there's a bunch of fresh new Funko Pops that I haven't got, that are not in my collection, that will be exciting to get for the first time. So let's take a look. We have eight packs, eight premium packs. And I don't know anything about this. I haven't seen any videos, but let's jump in. I don't know if there's gonna be new animations or noises. The last ones had uh, the, the little empty box had a whole little thing. Judy had a whole thing. So let's go ahead and let's make sure it's turned down a little bit and open pack seven, four, five, six. Remember, it all comes down to when you press the open button. Okay, standard um, animation and music it looks like. Very plain back cards, it's pretty cool. And the first thing we have up is the Uncommon Baby Puss. We have a rare Fred Flintstone. I like the animation style on that. We have a common Fred Flintstone. We have a common Wilma Flintstone. We have common Betty Rubble. Common Barney Rubble. And all these Funko Pops are amazing. Like all the ones that these represent, like this is, uh, you know, they had, they had each of them with their, I think they're Funko Shop exclusives with their club hats. Legendary Wilma Flintstone holding pebbles. That is the, mo oh my God, grabs the lint. That is the most adorable of this entire drop. So super excited to get that. That's the one I wanted the most out of this. Dino being second, obviously Fred Flintstone, uh, the grail would be amazing. But in terms of just the pop itself, that is the first pick that I wanted. Rare Fred Flintstone, Fred Flintstone. And I really like the animation style and the tippy toe bowling. Got the Uncommon Freddy Funko's Fred Flintstone. Uncommon Wilma Flintstone. Common Wilma Flintstone. Epic Barney Rubble. I think that's our first epic. I don't know if that's going to be a hard set to get the epics or not. Uncommon Fred Flintstone. And an Uncommon Freddy Funko as Fred Flintstone. So we take a look at all these and we have the same amount of legendaries as epics. So I'm okay with that. I saw someone commenting and I don't know if this was taken out of context or not, or if the person was joking, but I want to distractors post. They said they only got two legendaries and they're kind of upset about that. Like not too good. I only got two legendaries. And then someone said out of how many packs and they were like two and like, that's amazing odds. What are you talking about? So here we go. Fred Flintstone or the Flintstone second premium pack. We already have one legendary. First up is Dino the Common. We didn't get any Dinos in the first. Uh, does he really look like that? That looks so weird. The side angle looks, looks creepy. We got Baby Puss, Common. Fred Flintstone, Uncommon. Oh, there's Pebbles, so adorable, Common Pebbles. Common Barney Rubble. Epic Barney Rubble. It's the second epic that we've gotten. It's the same one, him falling asleep. Uncommon Freddy Funko. We got Common Great Gazoo. I think there was a glow of him, I'm pretty sure. Epic Pebbles. So there's our second epic. <laughs> oh no. We got Rare Freddy Funko in the animation style I like. We've got Common Fred Flintstone. Yeah, he's grilling, so that's what it is, him grilling. Uh, Common Fred Flintstone. Rare Barney Rubble. We got another Rare Barney Rubble. Looks like the same one. And Uncommon Fred Flintstone, and it looks like there's gonna be a coin with this. And there's, oh, that coin is really cool. On one side, it's got Fred Flintstone. On the other side, it's got a little Freddy Funko head and then some bones. Okay, so in that one, we got Two epics, two epics and a, and a coin. That coin, by the way, is just a series coin. Uh, there's like 6,500 of them in this in this series. Um, so about one every few packs. It doesn't really get you anything. I collect one of each series. I sell any of the duplicates I have. It is not the same as Redemption coin that, coin that will be sent later. Okay, pack number three. This, by the way, is the first drop in a while. I think the last one was April 
first or May 30th or whatever it was, maybe, or maybe, sorry, March 30th, 31st, whatever, if that's one of the months, that's 31. But that was the last drop, so it's been a while. Starting off with Uncommon Barney Rubble. Common Fred Flintstone, which by the way, I prefer once in a while. Like once a month would be perfect for NFT drops. We got an epic Bam Bam, there he is, hitting his club, throwing his dad around. Common Wilma Flintstone. Com Uncommon Betty Rubble. Common Betty Rubble. Common Wilma Flintstone. Uncommon Betty Rubble. Uncommon Pebbles. Epic Barney. This is his bowling one. Or his finger gets stuck in the bowling ball. Common Bam Bam. Common Baby Puss. Epic Baby Puss. This is a pretty good epic pack here. Epic Barney Rubble. The same one we just got. And last is the common Bam Bam, but looks like we got a coin. And the last is the coin number 89, not bad. Now one day, it's gonna look like it's gonna be a coin, it's gonna be a one of one, so maybe. So in this one we got one epic, two epics, three, four epics, and a series coin. That's a pretty good pack. Okay, we got five packs left. By the way, I'm opening these at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. First up, Common Bam Bam. Common Fred Flintstone. The same Common Fred Flintstone, I'm pretty sure. Uncommon Dino. Here he's licking the bone, that's pretty cute. Common Baby Puss. Rare Fred, Fred Flintstone. Common Bam Bam. Our secondary, I was just going to say, we haven't got a legendary in a while. Our second legendary, the same one, it's the Wilma Flintstone, but that's okay because it's the cutest one. Then Uncommon Fred Flintstone. Common Fred Flintstone. In the same pack, our third Wilma Flintstone overall, second Wilma Flintstone in this pack, legendary. Baby Puss. Common Barney Rubble. Uncommon Fred Flintstone. And last is the common Barney Rubble. So in this one, I don't think we got an epic. However, we got two legendaries in the same pack. So that was a good pack. So that has three little grails up here in the corner. That's how I count my legendaries. And I am trying to build up, obviously, for the royalty set. That's the second highest thing I want. Uh, kind of up there with the Wilma. Now let's get that grail. Return a little bit of value on what I spent. First up, Uncommon Freddy Funko. A rare Barney Rubble. Uncommon Dino. And Legendary Dino, I was just gonna say, as I looked at the Uncommon, I was like, actually the Legendary Dino would be super cute, uh, especially now that we got the most important one, which is the Wilma, but Legendary Dino. So this will turn out to be a pretty good pack opening. Now let's see if we can get another one in the same pack. Epic Bam Bam, good, so we got another Epic. Uh, common Fred Flintstone. A rare Wilma Flintstone. Common Dino. Common Dino. Common Barney Rubble. Uncommon Dino. Okay, so maybe we won't get another Legendary in the same pack. Common Betty. Epic Pebbles, that's another Epic in this pack. So that's two, I believe. Rare Baby Puss. And last is Uncommon Fred Flintstone. So it looks like two epics and a legendary in that pack. So we're actually doing really well in this drop. We have three more packs in order to complete the royalty set. Hopefully get a grail. Now that we've got the two main ones that we want. Even the Barney would be awesome. Everybody loves Barney. First up, Betty Rubble, uncommon. Then we got a common Wilma. I always want to say Vilma, I don't know why. Common Bam Bam, Uncommon Barney, that's so adorable. Common Dino, Common Wilma, a Common Barney, it's a very common heavy pack. Common Barney, a rare Bam Bam, Common Barney, Common Barney, Common Fred, Common Bam Bam, very heavy common pack. Uncommon Fred Flintstone, and last up is a common Barney. I think we got a rare in that, that's all. So we got a rare, and then commons and uncommons. That was not a great pack. But two more left. 
Come on, Grail. Now, I was fortunate enough to get the best luck in the world with the um, with the April Fools ones, where I got the Grail and the Legendary and completed the Epic set. Uh, so, and that's probably my favorite run in forever. It was all original pops and baby Freddy Funko. Uh, so I can't complain too much, but this has been a great job so far. Epic Betty, Common Barney, Common Barney, same one. Uncommon Fred Flintstone, Common Dino, Common Fred Flintstone, a rare Fred Flintstone, Common Barney Rubble. By the way, I haven't been really paying attention to the mint number, so hopefully no like number ones or twos have slipped by. A rare Barney, actually hopefully a bunch have slipped by. Rare Barney, Common Wilma, a Common Dino, a rare Barney, Common Pebbles, Uncommon Barney Rubble, and a Common Fred Flintstone. So I think we got an epic in that, just one. One epic, okay. Brings us to our last pack. Uh, I would say overall, so far, even without this pack, very successful pack opening. Uh, I'd like to see how many of the epics we got. That's the hardest to get on our way to get that royalty set. But let's see if we can pull anything good off in the last pack. First up, Uncommon Barney Rubble. Then we got our Common Barney Rubble. Epic Barney Rubble, that's like our fourth one of that or so. Common Wilma. Uncommon Pebbles. Common Betty Rubble. A Common Wilma. Come on, Barney. Uncommon Barney. A rare Fred Flintstone. Uncommon Freddy Funko. Common Barney Rubble. Common Freddy Funko is not looking too good for a redeemable. Uncommon Dino. Common Fred Flintstone. Last card is the Uncommon Barney Rubble. All right, so we got an epic in that pack, and let's go ahead and look at the overall haul from today. So it looks like royalty set, we didn't complete it. However, we are at 68% though, but the real kicker is how many epics do we have? How many doubles do we have epics? That's gonna be the hardest one, and let's we'll find out in a minute what those are going for. 24 to 28 commons, so each of these would be like a couple pennies. 14 out of 21 uncommons, those are going to be probably a couple pennies as well. I don't know what they're going for right now, probably like 7 cents or something like that, but they'll settle out. 8 out of 15 rares, so we didn't get a lot of rares, just about half of them. But in an epics, that's what we got, we got half the epics. However, I know that we got a bunch of the Barney sleeping, and uh, I think a couple of the other ones, so we'll be able to space those out. The Grail, zero, it's okay. Barney animated, or Barney rubble. Fireman, zero, but we did get the Dino, and we did get three of the Wilmas, and that is what we said we wanted at the beginning. We said we really want Wilma, we really want Dino, and then we want to complete the royalty set. So now let's go ahead and take a look at how hard it's going to be to complete this royalty set. So first thing we'll take a look at is the Epics and see about what the price value is on this. It's pretty typical, $9 starting point, and uh, I don't know what they range up to, but it's probably not going to be too bad. Hopefully we'll just get rid of our Barneys our extras, and we'll bring in the other ones. And we'll take a look at how many we have in a second. We have to transfer them over to Time and Cup to see the multiples. So let's go ahead and take a look at our legendaries, what those are gonna go for. And remember, prices will change a lot. Like, you know, they might go up the first day, or they'll be high at the beginning, but then as time goes down, hype goes down, it'll settle out at a value, and then usually start climbing back up as it gets closer to redemption date. So first up, Barney Rubble at time of filming, $38 is the lowest one. Wilma is $38 as well. And let's see where Dino is. Is, is Dino the, the expensive one? I wouldn't expect that. And wow, the lowest Dino right now is $90. I assume that's gonna settle, and it might even settle as low as $50 as time goes on. But wow, $90 for that. This is where I always wanna like sell mine real quick. Here's the idea, you sell it at the beginning, right, when prices are high, and then when they hit the bottom, then you buy it back, and then prices go back up. Uh, but, every once in a while, that won't work. For example, the Freddy Funko Reaper, like the first day was like $80, and then like the first night, it was like $120. And then you're like, okay, you know, maybe it'll, it'll die down in hype. Nope, then it went to $200, then $300. I think at one point, the lowest list was like $400. 
So every once in a while, and I don't think that'll happen with Dino, but every once in a while, they just go crazy. And I would kick myself in the butt if I sold it, hoping for the price to drop to rebuy it. But it's always an idea. And I'll see where the grail is. Might be about 200, let's see. Oh, it's even less than that, it's a lot less than that, $165. So that's pretty crazy. And again, that might even lower down to like 110, 120. Uh, some of the grails have been doing that recently. Usually first night though, they're usually right around $200. But it's a pretty quick jump. It goes 165, 168, 169, then 175, then 187, and it gets up in at 200. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's a good deal right now, or if it is, it's going to keep settling lower. Because as people open the packs, right, and then they're going to list it for 164, and then the more people that open packs and find them and list them, the price will just keep going down, and everyone else starts battling each other for the lowest price. I only have a dollar 98. Wow, that's pretty low. All right, now let's go ahead and transfer all these. They have a little different layout now. It's been a little bit since I've been on here. So it looks like 85% of our commons. But the best part is down here, you can see you own one, you own three, you own zero, six. So you can see how that's going to work out. Uncommon, 66%. Rares, 53%. And there's a few doubles here and there. Probably good to sell those on the first day or so and then wait like a week or two and then buy them at their lowest. And then Epics, we're exactly at 50%. However, we have one, two, two, three, one, two. So it looks like just about should be even on that coming out. So I'm gonna go ahead and say with this set and the amount of doubles we have and everything, we will be able to come out to a royalty. So I'll put that up here, ding, little royalty. So that means that we got Wilma, 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 all with the pebbles. We have Dino, which apparently is $90 right now. And now we have Freddy Funko, uh, out of these eight packs that we got. So really good overall, like five redeemables out of eight packs. I'd say that's awesome. But tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Was this drop the one for you? Or is this a pretty good drop? Like for me, it's a pretty good drop, but it wasn't like the April Fool's Day one where I lost my mind and I was willing to pay anything for those. Uh, this is a really good drop, but it wasn't my favorite, but it was also something nostalgic. So I do like Flintstones. I did grow up watching them. So I really like this, plus our, our already good collection with Bam Bam and Pebbles, uh, as well as, like we just said, Freddy Funko as Fred Flintstone. I think it'll really mix well with our current collection. But let me know what you guys think down below. But thank you to Drop, thank you Funko, and thank you to Atomic Cup for setting all this up and, and the ability to buy and sell. I love all that stuff. Uh, but mainly, thank you guys for stopping by and watching another episode of Grown Kids TV. And I'll see you guys in the comments.